Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a campaign dashboard. This is how the final product looks like. So in my design, I have the general metrics up on top here, total sales, profit per campaign, engagement, and return of investment. And I placed some notes on the right hand side, which includes equations on how I calculate some of these metrics. And on the left here is where you can filter to obtain different data in the middle. One of the highlights of this dashboard is the ability to look at how campaign is faring across four different uh, marketing pillars, namely location, uh, channels, customer, and segments. So the way you can use, the way to use this dashboard is to click on the navigation button. So um, here you can see how campaign is faring across location. And if you want to see how campaign is faring across channels you want to click on that and so it will go to channel and over here same thing as well so if i want to see segments then i'll click on that and it will go to segment another thing you can do with this dashboard is to filter down to individual companies so currently it's showing all companies but if i want to see for example data tech solutions i can choose that and there you go you have metrics uh, showing particularly for data tech solutions now that I've walked you through the entire dashboard, let's start building it. I'm going to show you how you can overlay heat maps and swap it with the navigation button. So let's get started. The data set that we'll be working with, it's called the marketing campaign data set. It's uh, a data set that I've downloaded from Kaggle. When it comes to any data projects, Kaggle is your best friend. Uh, you can find many different types of data set and uh, work with it. So as you can see here, we have the campaign ID and for what company the campaign ID is for, what type of campaign, target audience, duration, channel use. And we also have some of the metrics, conversion rate, acquisition cost, clicks and impression, and engagement score. The first thing I want to do is to create the overall metrics here, total sales, profit per campaign, average engagement, and average ROI. Total sales is basically taking the sum of the sales column. Profit per campaign, however, is a metric that I derive. So basically, I calculate a profit from the ROI calculation. And from there, I divide it by count of campaign ID because each campaign has a unique ID. Average engagement score is taking average of engagement score. And similarly, average ROI is taking average of ROI. Let's now go to the worksheet where I calculated these metrics. I'm not going to show you each and every one of them, but I'm going to show you a couple important ones. Let's start with profit per campaign. So first I calculated profit and I'm just going to show you real quick the calculated field where I did that. So profit equals the acquisition cost multiplied by ROI. And with that, I calculated profit per campaign, which is the profit field, sum of that divided by count of campaign ID. The next one is average ROI. So basically I just drag the ROI column over to text. And then what I did was I set it to measure equals to average and format it to two decimal places. So I'm zooming in a little bit more so you can see the worksheets better. Uh, apologies because the dashboard might look a little bit smaller than before. So what I'm going to do now is to show you how to create the heat maps representing the four different marketing pillars, namely location, customers, segment, and channels. Let's start with the location worksheet. So this is the finished worksheet and I've created another empty worksheet so we can work on it. First, we'll drag the location to text and then, um, and then we drag the engagement score average to size and color because I want the color to be depending on, to be dependent on the um, engagement score average. Next thing, I'm going to list out the different metrics under each location. And for that, we're going to go back to our worksheet. I'm going to drag over sales to our label. And our average engagement score. Profit. 
I'm also going to drag over our ROI to label and our conversion rate. There is one fixed LOD calculation that I like to create. So basically it's taking the average conversion rate by fixing the location. I've already created here, so I'm not going to recreate it. So now I'm going to drag that over. I'm going to drag that over to our label. Okay. Now what's left to be done is to format it and make sure that they're all in the same format. So I'm going to make this discrete and make sure that it's in the correct format. Let's put currency and I'm going to custom it actually and make the display units million. I'm going to change this all to average, make it discrete. Um, format number. Custom to two decimal places. I'm going to change sum of profit to average of profit. And I'm going to make this discrete. And I'm going to format this to um, currency custom. Display to two decimal places. Or ROI, make it discrete. And measure to average. And then format number to custom one decimal place. Conversion rate, I'm going to make it average. And I'm going to make this discrete. Format number to percentage. I'm going to make the same thing for the fixed LOD average. So coming back here, we can see that we only have one decimal place for our conversion rate. So let's go back and change it to one decimal place, format number, to one decimal place. And the same goes to the fixed LOD to one decimal place. Perfect. Next, I like to format the font so it looks exactly like that. So I'm just going to have a look at what type of font that I was using. So it's Korea New 20 on the heading and 8 on the rest. Let's head back to our worksheet. Here I'm going to click on labels, edit labels, and I'm going to put here um, our location. So I'm going to make everything the same font, which is Korean New, make this 20, and the rest 8. Next I'm going to label each um, metric, so that's the first one, CR, next one is ROI, and then we have total sales, um, engagement, total CR, and then we have profit here, which is a profit sign that I copied before. Let's click OK. I'm not too particular about the order, so as long as I have everything in the right units and um, uniform, but obviously you can change it to um, to however you want it, like if you want the uh, conversion rate to be together with the total conversion rate and total sales to appear first, feel free to do that. Okay, there you have it. I did one small mistake on the labeling, so I'm just going to go back. So this is basically overall CR. Basically, it is a conversion rate the regardless of the location. 
So you want to repeat the same process that you did for location for audience, which represents age ranges between men and women, for segment, as well as for channels used. In every one of them, you want to make sure that you have both company and language as the filters. Before we start putting everything together, I want to first show you how to make the overlapping heat maps. So I'm going to do a little bit of a demo here. We'll start with a blank dashboard. And so we're going to go to location and drag that over. Okay, make sure it's tiled. And then I'm going to hide the title. Next, I'm going to overlay with channels use. So to do that, we're going to click floating. And then we're going to drag channels use over. And then click to hide the title. And then we're going to resize this to make sure it overlaps each other. There you have it. Next, I'm going to go to the um, down arrow button here and go to show and hide button. And I like to format to show and hide the channels layer. So from here, I'm going to click the down arrow button and then click edit button. And so what I'm going to do here is change this style to text and then when the layer is shown, I'm going to write here a channel. And then when it's hidden, I'm going to show location as the button. Click apply and click OK. So let's quickly test it out. Uh, let's click on the option button and then click on the black box. And then here you can see that it changes to location and let's do it again it goes back to channels so on mac you use the option and then click button but on pc you'll use the alternate key and then click so you'll want to repeat the same process for audience and segment as well and i'll show you later how to do that so let's put everything together this is a partially filled dashboard on the top here, we have the key metrics and uh, we're going to build the average RI later. On the left panel here, we have the filters. So basically, you just drag the filters over here. And then for the uh, images, what you do is you drag the image here and then you edit image and choose whatever image that you're um, interested in. On the right panel here, we have what you need to know section. And it contains the equations that relates to the metrics. So let's start building the average ROI. Make sure it's in floating mode and we'll drag the ROI over here. Make sure that it fills that space here. Adjust it a little bit. Okay, now we're going to go to the layout and format the border. Make sure that we have a line here and thickness in the middle. There you have it. Okay, let's now start with building the overlapping heat maps. So for that, I'm going to keep the mode to floating. Let's start with location here. Let's drag it out. And our um, audience here. Let's drag it out. Let's get rid of the title. And let's format both boxes to have borders, thickness to the middle. Okay, 
So now I'm going to overlap channel here. Let's drag it out. And segment. Let's get rid of the titles here and here and format the boxes with borders. Alright, let's now format the show and hide button. I'm going to go to show and hide button. Adding that, I'm going to place it here. And I'm going to go edit button. Let's do the same thing for segment and customers. I'm going to drag out here. Let's open this. Let's now test out if it actually works. So I'm going to click on segment. Yes, now we can see the customers and back to segment. Let's test out channels, go to location, and then click again back to channels. So it works. So we've reached to the end of this video. This is a simple campaign analytics dashboard where you can see the metrics on top and some notes on the right hand panel and then filters and navigation buttons on the left panel. I really like this dashboard because it allows you to see all the important metrics from the perspective of four marketing pillars, namely location, channel, segment, and customer. I hope you like this video and I encourage you to try it out. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Stay curious and I'll see you next time.